Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Do you fancy some horseback riding? Well, I do, so I am going to build the Lego Friends Sunshine Ranch. Now, this has been the most requested set in the comments, so I have finally got my hands on it and I am going to open it up and build it for you. And it is chock a block of animals and cute little features, so let's open it up. Inside, there are two instruction books. And there are six bags. This set is big, so I hope you are settled in comfortably. Here we have got Mia. Mia is all ready to start working in the stables, ready to muck out the horses and groom them, and she's not quite dressed for riding because she's got her trademark Mia hair on, but she does look really cute with those freckles, and I love her high, high ponytail. Now there is a chicken in this set. And, and the chicken is obviously so tame that it wants to sit on Mia's hand. See? There we go. Don't go pecking at Mia's head. And there are some rabbits, some cute little bunnies. This is a little grey one with a little white muzzle. And look at the little tails. And the grey bunny has got a little friend, a little white friend with a pink nose. So there's two cute little bunnies. There's also a grey pussy cat. So many animals in this set. <laughs> Here's the baby foal coming to give Mia a little lick kiss. Now the little baby foal, this little tan foal, so cute. His name is Fame and they're all moving over here because there's more animals. Here is the first of the horses. This is Blaze and Blaze seems to have an enormous chunk taken out of her back. So we're going to fill that in with the pieces that come, replaceable pieces, so we can put on a saddle later. So here they are, and because she is now entirely built, the little pussycat has jumped up on her back for a ride, but she needs to move over because Mocha is here as well, the beautiful brown horse, and now Mocha is ready for riding as well. Well, actually not ready for riding, and, and Fame has come in to say hello to Mocha. And they're all here. Now, this is all of the animals. There is also another mini doll in this set, which I have pinched from the second bag. So this is Liza, and Liza is Mia's friend who has come to help help out at the stables today. And she's got her head on. <laughs> she's dressed for riding. She's got a jumpers on, and she's got proper good riding boots. Uh, she doesn't have the helmet on yet, but that will come later. You wait, there are so many surprises, and there is a lot in this set. So far we have got all the animals and the two girls <laughs> and we'll move them over here out of the way, move over everybody because we're starting our first little build. Now this is the tiniest part, we're going to start with the littlest part. First up we have got a wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow is very important for transporting hay from one side of the stables and the farm to the other side. So here is one bale of yellow hay, two bales of yellow hay and the chicken is very keen to be on here <laughs> and Fame is very keen to be eating some of that and Liza is going to take it for a little ride over here out of the way while we put together the first little piece of fence. Now here's our fence or it could be one of the jumping, jumping fences, one of the jumps and all of the horses are here behind it. They're very cute. This part here is the rabbit hutch for the bunnies. It's got a lot of green in it and a little bale of hay for them to nibble on. In you pop, you can nibble on the hay while I keep building. Just keep very still. And there's also a pink bucket on the front with a carrot for one and a carrot for two. So there's enough carrots for everybody. And the next little mini build here. Who doesn't have a home yet? Who do you think this might be for? Oh, you just gave it away, little hen. <laughs> yes, you're right. It's a hen house, which houses exactly one hen. <laughs> so it's only a low-key farm, but maybe they only need one egg a day. And we're going to build it up and you're going to see this has got a very cute little feature. So there's the hen house, it's got its roof on, got the little bridge up so that the hen can hop up here at the top. There we are. And there is a space, where are you going? Yep, hop up there. Oh, fame, would you quit that? <laughs> We've still got so much building to do, can't afford to be mucking around all the time. There's a cute little feature here which belongs down the bottom. And Mia's having a look. There are no eggs today, Mia. So we're gonna pop it back in. See, no eggs. Now we're gonna put the eggs in. 
These are cute little eggs, they're little flesh coloured rounds. I know that the new Angry Birds sets come with eggs and I'm very keen to open up that one of those sets and we could use the eggs in here. What do you think? Do you want to see me build one of the Angry Birds sets? I think they might be a bit awesome. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see them. But here we go, now we have a whole basket full of eggs and we've left one behind for the little hen. And next little mini build here. We're not even up to the stable yet. Now, as you can probably guess, this is a tree. You can see the branches taking really good shape now. Now, obviously a stable and a farm is gonna need more than one tree, but this is a very special tree. Do you wanna see why? I'll show you why when we finish building it. So we've got all of these little upright pegs to be able to put the branches on. And look, there's the first fruit of the season. It's a cherry tree. And there are some more cherry blossoms on here. So it's gonna be a bumper crop of cherries this year, I hope. Here's one more branch with some more flowers. And I put that one on the wrong spot, so there we go. We'll put the cherries are down low and the new flowers are up high. So they can go out cherry picking. There's the basket and it comes with two spare sets of cherries so we can put them in the basket. <laughs> Fame, stop eating the cherries. Move over here, because we are now up to bag two and now, now we finally start building the ranch. So you can see that this comes with one of the orange Lego tools, which is good because there are a lot of flat bits that will be very difficult to get off without it. There is a lot of symmetry in this ranch. So here we have got a little window area. And Mia is standing in the window area so you can see, you can see how it's going to take shape. Got some very cute little yellow windows in here and Fame's peeking through. Fame is into everything. A very, very curious little soul. Oh, and here's one of the rabbits. There are, <laughs> the animals are everywhere. Blaze has turned up because Blaze knows that this is her stable that we are building right now because we've just put the nameplate on the door here, on the stable door. So there you are, Blaze. What do you think? Is it spelled correctly? I hope so. We missed a piece on there. And now you've got your little stable door, your little stable window at the top there. But it's not finished yet. And don't, <laughs> you can't fit out there with a rabbit on your back. Poor little bunny just fell off. So we'll put the bunny back over the back where the bunny might be a little safer. And we'll keep building the stable. Oh, Mia, here, you can stop and give Blaze a pat. that we are already up to bag number three but there's still so much to do blazers in here so this is one side we now have the other side of the ground floor of the stables of the ranch here and you're going to notice something very soon I think you are anyway you are going to have this strange feeling of deja vu going go Ellie I'm pretty sure you've already built this bit because I have it's exactly the same as the other side of the stable, except in reverse. So there is a lot of symmetry in this set. I think I've already said that, and you are going to see it here. Two matching stables, to start with anyway. They do start to get personalized and individualized as we go along. So on this main plate here is Mocha. This is Mocha's stable here. So when you come Mocha, a bit easy at the moment for you to come in. There's no actual door. <laughs> or walls, so you could come in any old way, but you can stand in your stable window there. I love this, the stables have got windows as well as the door. A very lovely airy stable they've got. So there are uh, two sides of the stables and they're all joined together and there's a nice smooth part in the middle where they can parade through. And the bunnies have turned up, now we get to put on some pretty pretty flowers and some bugs. Some lady beetles. I suppose we probably shouldn't call them bugs. Oh, they are bugs. Move over, little rabbit. More flowers over here. And one more lady beetle here. And Blaze, if Blaze gets hungry and runs out of hay, Blaze can start eating the flowers. <laughs> We're up to bag number four. So inside the stables, lots and lots to see in here. We're gonna move, move Mocha out of the way and build up here. Now you're gonna like this. 
Here we have got three little hooks and here we have got three grooming brushes. Two long ones and one round one because there are three horses in here. And there's a second door into this stable facing into the middle of the ranch and here is our first sticker and this has got a riding crop and uh, a rope and some extra hay for the horses to eat. And over here is an extension on our grooming area. This has got a lot of detail in. You wait, this is awesome. So first up, Mia needs an enormous armchair to sit in while she's grooming all of these animals. So here it is. It looks very comfy and it's easy to take on and off too, so we can move it around. And the chicken has moved in. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and we also need a nice big basin to hold all of the equipment. So there's a spray bottle and a big grooming comb and a whole heap of bows. There are two different designs and there are a lot of them. So we can do dressage, we can dress the horses up, we can dress all the animals up. <laughs> oh, we can have so much fun. Oh, I don't know whether the animals will like it. Oh, they'll love it. What animal doesn't like being brushed and petted and groomed? So Mocha has lined up first and we've just knocked Mia off. Here Mia, hold this spray bottle. I don't have to do all the work. You can spray the hair down gently and then you can brush, 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 groom, groom, groom. There we go, all the way down. Make sure you do the four legs. And, there we, and Mia's hair as well. <laughs> and then once you're all brushed, we can do your hair. Look, it can be so many bows. Put some over here and one at the top. Oh, Mocha, you look lovely. You look very pretty. And one for Mia. And... <laughs> oh, Mocha, here we go. Back in your stable. And we've dropped some of these, some of these accessories here. There's more building to do in this area. I did muck around a little bit <laughs> early, so there's some more here. There's little yellow parts here. Hold... Oh, bunnies. No, they don't actually hold bunnies. But the bunnies have lined up because they would like their bows too, please. And poor old Mia keeps getting knocked over. There we are, some bows for the bunnies and Mocha fell over. Everybody's feeling very tipsy today and the poor little hen feels as though she needs a bow too, but there's no holes on the hen to put bows on. But the pussycat can have one here on her head. There, is everybody decorated? Everybody who turned up anyway. Could you move off their bunnies? Because like I was saying, this is where the saddles go. Excellent. So, on this stable door, we are going to put the name of the foal, Fame. There you are, Fame. Would you like to hop in here? There's not a whole heap of room, but you can squish in there for now. And we're going to move Blaze out of the way because we've got a whole heap of, a whole heap of building to do in Blaze's stable now. So we have a big water trough for drinking out of, do you think, Blaze? Mmm, it's nice to have water right there and some more hay. Another stable door here. So matching the other side. And you know what? I have mucked this up because Fame actually lives in here with her mum. With Blaze. So there we go. No wonder, because Mocker's... <laughs> yeah, come on, you move over here. Mocker's stable is much smaller. And Blaze's stable has got plenty of room for two horses in here. Well, one adult horse and one baby horse. It's got an extension out the back, which we are building right now. There, lovely fenced area. And here we go, the helmets, the girls' helmets with attached hair pieces. So you can take the hair off and you put the helmets on, their hard hats on, so they're ready for riding. There's one here for Liza too, with the appropriate coloured hair. There they are, and we will have a quick peek at how these saddles go on. And the girls can sit in the top. Well, that's actually a lie. They cannot sit in the top. They can only stand in the top, so they look a little bit odd. But it does the job. They can go riding and they're stuck in there quite firmly. We'll, we'll put them back the way they were because we're gonna we're gonna send these girls and these horses riding hmm, very soon. We have to finish building first though. So move over girls and let's keep going. So this is not actually a water trough. It's got soap in it so it must be for washing the horses down. Back to the front now, we get to finish up 
the finishing details of the bottom level here of the Sunshine Ranch. There are a couple of very nice little lamps for nighttime and some overarching arches. I suppose all arches overarched, <laughs> don't they? And then we need to build up and make sure the top is structurally sound because there is a second level that needs to go on up here. Look at this. Look. Look. Who lives in here? Blaze has got the number one ribbon and Mocha has come number two. So they've won some prizes, these horses. And here are the reins, the bridle, and I'll show you how to put them on before the girls go riding. There is a bit of a trick to it. Now every good ranch needs a sign, so the Sunshine Ranch is no exception. Got a lovely logo here with a horseshoe with a horse peeking out the middle. And there's some very pretty flower decoration to go over the top of the stable doors and some lady beetles are hiding there. And I love this little piece of asymmetry because this is only on one side. It's a climbing rose vine over the side of Blazer's stable. So there it is. It connects down here and up the top. And if Blazer's hungry, <laughs> she can nibble on the roses, but watch out for the thorns. Now we have completed the bottom level, but there is still so much building left to do and a lot of play. So you are going to have to join me for a part two. So don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when new videos come up. Give me a thumbs up and I'm going to see you again for part two really, really soon. I promise. <laughs>